Welcome to the Dynon Skyview HDX Academy. In this video, we'll jump into the basic features and operations of the Skyview HDX engine management page, or also simply known as the EMS page. I will demonstrate the variety of EMS page display configurations and how those configurations are acquired. We will discuss how the EMS page can provide the flight crew the information needed to help you manage the aircraft's engine performance and aircraft systems. We will also touch on the flexibility the EMS page has in displaying that information. The Skyview HDX engine management system presents critical engine and system parameters. This data is gathered through an SV EMS 220 module or other 200 series EMS modules and their associated sensors. These sensor modules are essential for the display of the engine and system information. Because the Dynon Skyview HDX system is so flexible and adaptable, your aircraft may have a different layout for the EMS page than shown in this video. These highly customizable engine page layouts are normally configured during initial system installation and setup. All of this configuration information can be found in the Skyview system installation guide. What I will be showing in this video will be representative of what is considered a common layout for a single engine GA aircraft, highlighting the look and features of the three different EMS pages. I will also provide suggestions on how and when the different pages should be used and some tips on what to avoid in particular configurations. Twin engine aircraft information will be briefly discussed, but the principles are the same so twin operators will find plenty of information in this video. The Engine Management System, or EMS, is the primary interface for monitoring your engine's performance and aircraft systems. It collects data from multiple sensors and devices, then converts that data into viewable instruments or widgets. These widgets can be configured to display specific information provided by a specific type of sensor, such as oil pressure or temperature. Sensor widgets can also be configured to display customized information from various switches or inputs, whether that is a position sensor or something as simple as a microswitch. The appearance and position of each indicator or instrument widget on the engine page should have been configured by the installer of the system during the initial system setup. All engine widgets have completely customizable color ranges, including red, yellow, green, blue, orange, cyan, purple, white, and black. The Dynon HDX system offers three different screens or pages to view the engine management and systems information, all customizable depending upon your mission profile and personal preferences. There's the full screen EMS mode, 50% split screen, or the engine bottom band. Full screen mode provides the most screen area for viewing informational widgets. This is especially useful during engine run-up, troubleshooting, or detailed cruise monitoring. It is also useful when an aircraft has a two or three screen system, with one of the screens dedicated as the engine monitor during the entire flight. When using a screen dedicated to engine monitoring, it is advisable to configure the screen so that the primary content is the engine page and configured to display the primary content as full screen. If the display wasn't already set up with the EMS content as its primary role, you can change that by selecting display on the bottom main menu, then setup. Within the primary content menu border, select engine. Notice here that if the engine bottom band was active, the system automatically deactivates it to avoid conflict. Now to show a full screen view of the EMS page, select the return or back arrow. No big deal here if you accidentally selected the exit symbol, just select display again on the main menu, then full. The system is now considered to be in the EMS full page. With the system now in the EMS full page mode, and engine selected as the primary content, users will find that anytime a main menu selection is made or a top status bar action is initiated, 
the full EMS page will default to the 50% EMS page so as not to deprive the pilot of essential engine and aircraft system information. Installers should take into consideration this default action when configuring the 50% EMS page. Critical engine instrumentation should have a higher display priority over other available information. Earlier I had mentioned how flexible the HDX system is, and here's a good example of that. Users have the option to display the 50% EMS page on the left or right side of the screen, depending on the pilot preferences. Once again, select Display on the main menu, then select Setup. And within the primary side menu border, the option to display the primary content on the left or right side of the screen is presented. Selection of the right or left will switch the side of the screen the primary content is displayed. In this case, the EMS page is displayed. It's just that simple. Our final EMS page display option is the bottom band. Once again, select Display and then Setup. In this display layout menu, you should see the engine bottom band option. Selecting this will, as expected, display the EMS page on the bottom of the HDX screen. This is commonly used when you want to show a larger PFD and or map page while still preserving some room for engine information. Because the EMS bottom band occupies the entire length of the flight display screen, there are several things to consider when using the EMS in this configuration. When activated, many menus and controls use a full 50% of the screen, overlaying and obstructing half of the bottom band. During initial configuration of the bottom band, installers should take care to ensure that primary engine instruments are configured to be on the primary half of the bottom band, so no obstruction of this critical information occurs. The configuration page for the bottom band actually coaches you on this point, avoiding any issues with the critical information being obstructed when these configurations arise. Another example of this effect is if the user elects to increase the size of or maximize the map page. Doing so with the bottom band active will result in the map page overlaying on top of the EMS bottom band and obstructing engine information. Again, pilots and installers need to be aware of this behavior and make appropriate adjustments in the layout of the engine bottom band page. The EMS bottom band, despite its compact size, is engineered to display a wealth of engine and aircraft systems information. Dynal engineers have implemented innovative solutions to maximize the data presented in this area. The extensive capabilities of the EMS screen layout editor for accessing and implementing these features is thoroughly detailed in the installation guides for both experimental and certified aircraft, free to download from the Dynon website. Configuration and layout of the EMS pages using the layout editor will be further explored in a separate video lesson. For now, I'll provide a quick overview and some examples of these powerful features. Before I do, it's important to note that certified installers should consult the appropriate guides to familiarize themselves with authorized features and functions under Dynon's STC. As an example of these flexible features, the EMS page has the capability to display both EGT and CHT information on the same widget. This is done using differentiating colors and symbology. Here you can see the EGT information is displayed as a bar graph starting at the bottom of the widget, while the CHT information is designated by an arrow. Actual temperature readings are displayed at both the top and bottom of the graph. The color insets change color as those temperatures pass through the ranges designated during the configuration of the sensor. The display style of a sensor can also be modified showing information in ways that include vertical or horizontal graphics. The style of the graphic can also include a numerical value within a graphical display. Even a simple numerical value can be displayed. At its most basic, something as simple as a widget that is nothing but a colored indicator can be used. 
Sensor widget sizes can also be changed, allowing more information to be fitted within the MS bottom band or any of the other pages. Be careful here, as a sensor display too small to read in turbulent conditions is about as useful as not having the information at all. Tired eyes, fatigue, and flight conditions can all have an impact on how viewable the information can be. Finally, I want to give a quick overview of how other aircraft systems information is displayed on the EMS pages. This information can include things like flaps and trim indicators, hobs and tack time, fuel used, fuel remaining, trip timers, and percent power. Just like engine instruments, there are many options for what information you choose to configure and display. And like engine instruments, the size and location of this information can be changed to the pilot's preference. Full page configurations of the EMS will typically contain the most aircraft systems information and widgets. In this page, many of the items I just mentioned are displayed, such as trim and flap indicators, right alongside the engine information like oil temperature and pressure. It is truly amazing the amount of critical and helpful information Skyview HDX's engine and aircraft monitoring system delivers. Thank you for watching this HDX Academy video lesson on the basic functions of the HDX EMS pages. Right now, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and then visit the Dynon YouTube channel for more videos like this.